hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to bind multiple columns into a drop down list from SQL server database in ASP.NET C Sharp coding and here we got the output on the browser and notice here the column names Charan and email IDs, the name and the email IDs. Before writing the coding part in ASP.NET, first we'll check the database and table. Right now I'm in my SQL Server database. I'm expanding the databases. Sample DB is my user database. I'm expanding that one. Let's check the tables what we have in this. And for this example, I'm choosing user iPhone Reg is my table. Let's browse the table. Select top thousand rows. And notice in this user iPhone Reg table contains four records and three columns. This user ID is an auto generated column. Now my aim is I want to display the username and user gmail IDs. These both columns want to bind in the drop down list control. Now it's time to write the coding part. Let's open the Visual Studio. For this tutorial, I'm creating a new project. I'm choosing ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET framework is 4.6.1. And the web application name is bind multiple drop down list click ok I'm choosing web forms click ok and project created successfully congratulations you have created a project let's close this window go to solution explorer i'm creating a new web page in this project right click add new item i'm choosing web form the web form name is drop down multiple data click add Now in this newly created ASPX page, I'm adding between the forms and div toolbox drop down list. And I'm changing the ID from drop down list one to DD DDL multiple data. After adding the drop down list control. Now I'm creating a connection string of my SQL Server database. To write the proper connection string in the web.config file, go to Server Explorer, right click the data connections, add connection. The server name is user-pc-sql-express. This is user. After adding the server name, I'm choosing the database name which is sample db test connection ok click ok and notice here the sample db dot db connection is added under data connections to get the data source connection string right click the sample db dot db go to properties here the connection string copy the whole part go to solution explorer open the web.config file and here you notice the connection string is added but in the connection string property remove this existing data source Add the new one, switch over to ASPX page, right click the source page, view code, 
I'm adding the namespaces to access my database connection classes using system dot data using system dot configuration the last one is using system dot data dot SQL client after adding the namespaces string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding my connection string name let's open the web.config file the default connection which is my connection string name let's switch over to the coding part add that connection string here connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes a parameter of this main connection string SQL query this SQL query we need to write the select statement but before writing the select statement let's finish the coding part SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is this SQL query and the second one is the SQL connection string SQL con after adding these two parameters I am opening the SQL connection string open I am adding data set ds is equals to new data set I am binding with the data set to my drop down list SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter with SQL command SDA dot fill method I'm filling this data adapter with the data set object DDL multiple data which is my data list control ID dot data source is equals to DS DDL multiple data dot data text field is equals to between double quotes at this moment I am not adding any column name here after writing the select statement I will add ddl multiple data dot data value field ddl multiple data dot data bind method ddl multiple data dot items insert method the first one is a index method which takes this insert method takes two methods one is the integer variable and the class list item so zero comma new list item which takes four parameters the first one is a string which is text in this string I am adding the default header to my drop down list which is select and the second one is a string value zero that's it after that I am closing the connection string SQL con dot close now the main part the select statement SQL query we have to write and we need to add the data text field and value field the select statement is select the column names are user ID username and user email let's copy these three first here
from the table name is dbo first remove these gaps user name and notice in the select statement i have three columns but in the drop down list i have only one data text field but the trick is i'm concatenating this username and user email with an alias and i will add this alias name to this data text field so what i'm doing remove this comma plus plus between single quotes i'm adding pipe As after concatenating the username and user email, I'm giving an alias name which is email. You can give anything. I'm copying this, adding here in this email data text field. In the data value field, the user ID. That's it. Let's check the results on the Google Chrome. And here we got the output on the browser. And notice here the column names Charan and email IDs, the name and the email IDs. That's it. If you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video, and please subscribe my channel. Catch you on my upcoming videos.